Alright, today I'm lucky enough to have a set of the new Martin A. Smith handmade humbuckers. I'm going to do a quick little unboxing and then we will get on with the good stuff and do a review. So, it's a box. I'm going to open it. And there is a very nice little card with all the online details. I'll put those in the description below. And then I've got this thing here, which looks like a description of pickups, I'm guessing. Uh, what does it say? Thank you for choosing my hand-wound pickup, so they provide you with many years of enjoyment. That's pretty nice. And then we've got some construction details. Again, I'll chuck all this in the video description. But I want to look at the pickups here. So, uh, when Martin put the pickups together for me, he basically asked me, what do I want? And I said, do whatever you want, as long as they're double creams. So, I'm pretty excited about actually seeing the pickups. I haven't looked at them yet. So, oh, this is nice. We've got these cool little hessian bags. That's a pretty good idea. Let me open... I need to... We'll be right back. Aha! Alright, I figured it out. It didn't take me as long as I thought it would take. Anyway, here we go. We have got... Ooh. God, that looks good, doesn't it? What does that say? Have a look at that. Double cream humbucker. Oh. Uh, it says on the back, it's got his signature. That's pretty nice. Bridge 8.3K. So I guess this is going to be quite a vintage voice kind of set. How cool is that? Um, man, that's some tight construction. I will do a little close-up later, but I really like the way this is laid out. You can see the magnet through there, which is handy if you need to swap the magnets out at any point, I'm guessing. Uh, the construction looks pretty tidy and pretty tight. So there is pickup number one. Hessian bag number two. I opened that one a lot quicker than before. And we've got, hopefully this is the neck pickup. 7.2k neck. There we go. So, a pair of... Are they the right way up? There we go. A pair of double cream bobbin humbuckers. I just have to figure out which guitar to put them in. Ooh, and this is good. I like this. He's even put the screws and the springs in there. That's pretty handy because I always lose these. Alright, I'm going to go figure out which guitar to put these in. And then we will hear the pickups in action. So I've put these pickups in my 2002 Les Paul Standard Premium Plus. It's in standard tuning and there's a few things to note. Namely that I'm such a genius at wiring that I wired the three-way toggle in backwards. So this is the bridge pickup. If you don't believe me, bridge, not bridge. And then just be very, very, very aware that when you're watching this clip, that when the switch is up, it's the bridge pickup, and when the switch is down, it's the neck pickup. Now, the other thing that I noticed um, is that clearly the magnet polarity between the two pickups is out of phase, which is very, very cool because you can do the Peter Green thing, which is two humbuckers out of phase in the middle position, and you get that beautiful, sweet kind of tone. I will have a look at that. A little bit later in the video. So I've got this JDM45 reissue and what we're going to do to start with is I'll change the gain with the amp. So I'll just change the amp volume and I'll leave the guitar controls all the way up so that basically all you're hearing is the interaction between the gain control and the amp and the pickups in the guitar. Then the second round of clips I will just crank the amp all the way and I'll use the guitar volume and tone controls to alter what's going on. And for vintage style pickups this is really where the action's at, right? Good vintage style pickups let you use your guitar volume and tone controls to change the gain structure just like guitar players would have done in the 60s and 70s, right? That's why we want vintage style amps and vintage style pickups to get that sort of dynamic control underneath our fingers. So a wise man once told me when you're playing a Les Paul, set the volume on 7 and the tone on 7 and then set your amp up for the sort of rhythm tone you want. Turn the volume down to get a clean sound and turn the volume tone up to get your lead sound. So, before we get into the clips, I'm going to show you how to do that. Let's have a listen to that with these controls on 7 for a kind of crunchy sound. And I'll just give you an idea of the dynamics available. Then we'll get into the clips. <laughs>
certainly a departure from the JB and the jazz that I had in there earlier which made this a real rock machine. Now it's really cool, it's this far more dynamic, almost like a Telecaster on steroids sort of guitar, which is strange because you know it doesn't look anything like a Tele, but you've got that middle position which gives you that real honk, and then this really beautiful vintage grind, especially when you use it with a vintage style amp. The other thing that I like to do is use these vintage style pickups with really high gain tones, basically because it gives you a little bit more control over the pre-EQ. The idea being that with modern guitar amplifiers, you don't need super high output pickups to get a lot of gain, right? High output pickups were kind of developed because non-master volume amplifiers didn't have as much gain as guitar players wanted. So you make this part of the guitar hotter and you can drive this more. Well, now we've got all those features inside the amp. So what I'm going to do is I'll do one very quick clip where I plug my Fractal AX8 in and just basically play some metal with this guitar just to show you that it's not a one-trick pony. pretty good example of how you can get a tight modern sound with a vintage style pickup. The other nice thing is that these aren't priced ridiculously. If you go and check out Martin's website, his prices are really competitive. They're handmade, they're made by a guy who loves guitar, and uh, they're a really, really good alternative to some of the big names, so I would encourage you guys to go and check them out. They'll be staying in this guitar for a little while, and I'll do some gigs with them and report back on how I'm liking them in a month or two. If you like this video, please hit subscribe and be sure to turn notifications on.